near fatal accident was the trigger that jump started Peruvian immigrant Oswaldo Koch's inventive gene. Due to his physical challenges, he created his own exercise system. He also encourages people to not only invest in core training, but to invest in attitude training. It is my pleasure to welcome Oswaldo Koch, industrial engineer turned fitness trainer, back to Studio 4 to tell us more. Thank you so much. Nice to see you again. To the success of any venture, according to Oswaldo, depends on what? The most important thing is keep it simple. There is a mantra that I have. Does it work? Is it simple? Can I do it? And if you follow these three rules, you are mm -hmm. able to really be successful on any, whether it's fitness, whether it's health, whether it's business, you have to keep it simple. I like that idea. And you also have to do something that has meaning to you. Exactly. Not what Oswaldo tells me to do necessarily, something that means something to me. In Wonderful. other words, if I like Pilates better than I like twisting on that, little disc, yes. which I'm not saying I do, yeah. uh, it's okay. Whatever works for you. Exactly. Is that the point? You have to make it meaningful for you because it's you who's going to make those decisions every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have to understand that in fitness, fitness is not a science. It's not something that has to be complicated. It's a simple practice. So the less you think, the better. When you had the bike accidents and the doctors told you, uh, Oswaldo, unlikely you will ever exercise as, as you did before. You will never exercise yeah. as you did before. What did you do? Well, what happened is that I had to research everything about how to rebuild the body holistically. And something I can tell you is this. This is a very easy example of how people train. When people do normally crunches, they have to go on the floor and they have to do these exercises and only one area is working, but core training changed completely the dynamics because you're standing, now you're dealing with gravity. Now you're moving the lower body. It's not moving the upper body, it's the lower body, like a skier, mm -hmm. like a skater, like a dancer. A hockey a, player. A hockey player, thank you. Basketball, golf and tennis. Everything is about engaging the core from the very beginning. And what is happening, Fanny, also is that as you do this movement, internally, the organs are getting the benefit. Mm, like in Tai Chi. Exactly. Uh, what about Pilates? Well, Pilates has a lot of elongations and contraction, but core training is about doing everything mm. in one move. One move will give you a holistic, symmetrical exercise. Again, you can do yoga, Pilates, and all those philosophies are great, but don't make it complicated. People have made those way of training too mm -hmm. complicated, and then people get discouraged. Sure. Keep it simple. Remember what I told you, the less you think, the better. Right, so uh, if you got your old hula hoop out of the basement, yeah, that might be good. That's amazing, that's amazing. But the beauty about core training is that as you build the core, the rest of the body builds naturally and symmetrically. You are talking about functional movements. Mm. You're not talking about isolation or getting right. one arm or getting the upper body. No, it's one thing that allows you to build symmetry naturally in a way that we've been created. So when you were an industrial engineer and before your accident and all of that, uh, uh, did you have abs, uh, tight abs that you can bounce a penny on? <laughs> good, good question. You know what, I used to be, even before going, being an engineer, I used to be in the Navy for three years. Mm. And I did thousands of crunches and sit-ups and push-ups. And I tell you, I never had abs like I have now. And the reason is because I was doing too many things at once. Okay. When you build a house, what is the first thing you build? The foundation. Thank you. And what I is the foundation of your body? Well, obviously, no, mm -hmm. you, you, you're right on the spot. But what is the foundation of the body? It's not the arms, not mm -hmm. the legs, it's the core. It's where the energy is generated. Sure, so, and that's male, female? Everybody. Doesn't matter. Yes, it doesn't Young, matter. Young, old, male, we're dealing, female. We're dealing with the same laws, which is gravity. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and what is making your body leaner and stronger is the ability to move and rotate from the core because also the organs get the stimulation to assimilate nutrients, eliminate toxins. Okay, and that makes sense to me. And then I know you uh, uh, talk a lot too about the real measure of intelligence, success, and the practices uh, for people 
attitude-wise, like kind heart and great mind and focus and all of that. Very and important. You have to add that into core training. You must have to. Train your brain, too. You have to. And that's the reason why I developed 100 of the best practices. Because mm -hmm. when you have that clearly in your mind, you don't have to think about that anymore. Best practices is the ability to make things predictable. Sure, like live your life with intention, not tension. Exactly. What I think and feel most of the time plays a key role in what I attract into my life. Totally agree. Thank thoughts you. are real forces. Edit your thoughts. Everything and we can is choose energy. our thoughts. That's right. How did you get into the metaphysical aspect of this, well, the, the master moves? Thank you. When I had that injury, and I damaged my lower back, and I fractured my neck, what happened is that I had to sleep down in the basement, right on the floor. Right. Uh, I was in a halo brace that I couldn't oh, really do much about brace. it. Yes, and it was horrendous. And the only thing that saved me is meditation. I had mm -hmm. to meditate because, you know, I was all the time in pain. And mm. the doctor told me, now you're gonna have to be very patient. And this is when I started researching books about holistic medicine, holistic exercises. And I, I became passionate about best practices mm -hmm. because it makes things predictable. So basically you had the time to do it because you're in extreme pain and you can't move much, so you had to use your brain. I had to use my brain. I didn't have the chance to start moving around and doing too many things, but right. I have to keep it simple. Uh, but you do also put out a, a success log, which means yes. uh, we do something, we write it down. <laughs> we you don't do something, to. we write it down. Exactly. You have to, once you learn, once you know the, the know-how, you have to now move into the how-to. The how-to is step-by-step step what you have to do. Sure. And you have to track every day your commitments, every day the steps that you need to start making in order to make your life Sure, fulfilling. everything is possible, I believe I can do everything. it. Say everything. it even if you don't believe it. You know, a, a good example <laughs> right. is a cell phone. Would you believe in the possibility of being able to talk with somebody around the world mm -hmm. using a cell phone 10 years ago or 20 years ago? Mm -hmm. It was not. No, exactly. But I know how I feel when the joints are oiled and the core is strong and you come out of a fitness class and you're hydrated and you're happy. Absolutely. It's a good drug. Is the, is the feeling good? that makes you keep that motivation mm -hmm. in place and makes you have results, predictable results. Sure. But the key is simplicity. Whatever you're gonna do it, keep it simple because we, we live a, a life of complications. And right, that. of course, and, and you dump guilt and you just try and try again. That's right. Okay. You'll have to come back so I can swirl around on we'll that. We'll do it together, anytime. Excellent, how nice to see you again.